So what is it about Alex that they cannot be reached? They cannot find their reality. They cannot see the truth in their reality about their addiction, about their lives, about their behavior, about the the crisis that they are facing, the imposing, self-imposed crisis that they are facing through their addiction, despite overwhelming evidence that they're going down. And the only thing waiting for them on the other side of the life that they're living is jails, institutions, or death at the end of the road. Why can the addict not be reached? What is it about him that is so incredibly difficult to dislodge and get him to see the truth of his reality? Well, there isn't a better analogy if I could ask for one, an example right here in this little paradise that I'm in the center of at the moment. And it's the middle of a river. And it's in a place at the back end of Matopus, Matabili Land South in Zimbabwe. And there's a river, as you can see. I just want to show you guys the river on the other side. There's the water, the river flows. But on this side, dry, desolation, sand, no river, no water flowing, no life, no birds, no nothing. And we can see the problem right in the center there. There's a blockage. It's a bridge. It's a wall. It's blocking the water from flowing. So there's the river and the life and the goodness and everything wholesome that feeds life. On the, on the one side and on the other side of the blockage, desolation. And that's what happens with our addiction. We become blocked over time. We become so blocked, we cannot see the truth. We cannot see the goodness. We cannot see the honesty. What we see in addiction is just gray, desolation, separation, isolation, disconnection. And we pick up things like resentment and fear and we're driven by self-delusion. And that's all on this side here, the dryness, where the river isn't flowing, the river of life isn't flowing. So what we need to do is unblock, obviously. We need to blast that blockage. We need to tear it down piece by piece. And how do we do that? Well, we do that in the in the process of steps four and five, in the 12 steps. We take a thorough and fearless inventory of our souls, which is discovering our truth inside, seeing what the blockages are, admitting them in step five to ourselves, to another person and to God. In step six, being willing to God come along and take these blockages. And in step seven, God does it. He takes the blockages, he takes all the defects of character, and the river of life flows. It flows. We've got some visitors that have come just past us and I'm waving at. And um, it's all cool because it's part of the video. So once we have admitted to these blockages within us, and there could be a resentment, there could be a bit of dishonesty, there could be fear. There could be a whole lot of things. We admit them. We discover them within ourselves. We take a searching and fearless inventory of ourselves, what's actually in us. We discover it, we uncover it, and we discard. And the way we discard is with the help of God, something we've never been able to do. And that bridge and that wall breaks down piece by piece through that process, and the river and the water flows. Life takes place again on this side of desolation and isolation. And it's incredible. Once it's flowing... We, and once we unblocked, we awaken to the truth of our reality. We awaken to everything good and everything that was holding us back. And we can now process life in a sane and logical and peaceful manner. We no longer have to fight. And we cease fighting and we cease that conflict with people continuously that we used to because of our blockages and we just couldn't see past our collapsed perspective of life. The perspective comes back when that wall comes crashing down and the water flows and the perspective is now whole. And that's what the steps four and five do for us in the beginning. And six and seven is the process of having all these blockages removed. How wonderful is that? How awesome is that. But we've got to be careful here, because if we leave any blockage in place, even if it's just a tiny little one, or a, or a group, or, or a layer, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to resist the water. It's going to resist the flow of life. 
And eventually it's going to build up again and it's going to become that solid wall, that solid bridge. And we're going to go back to where we were and we don't want to be there. We want to stay unblocked. Our minds need to be uncluttered. And that saying that I've heard before that I love, that you cannot unscramble a scrambled egg. Well, in this case, I think we've defied that logic. <laughs> we've kind of re-scrambled the unscrambled egg and everything's cool. Everything's flying. Everything's good. Isn't that so awesome? I'm out. <laughs>